and the books as qualifying happened today. Max Verstappen minus 440 to win it. I would not bet that because I'm not laying 440. Yes, he's most likely to win, but mm -hmm. at the same time, that's so much juice up front. When you think of going through this, even a guy like Charles Leclerc, 13 to one to win, most likely not to. Now, the books have to adjust after this happens, qualifying just going down, but they'll give you, without Max Verstappen, who wins, give you the podium odds. I like Leclerc there. He won at this course last year, and he beat Max Verstappen by 1.5 seconds, but also Lando Norris, 22 to 1 to win it. Now, he hasn't been podiumed yet this upcoming season, but the McLaren team, they debuted some brand new upgrades to the car, just his on that. He debuted it today, raced wonderfully at Austria. He's podiumed twice here before. That's someone I'll watch for when I'm going through the books and seeing them adjust and how everything lays out. I would go Lando Norris. And then even a guy like Lewis Hamilton, I saw him, you could get him to podium plus 100. It's even money, not a big payout, but Lewis Hamilton has the experience, he has the pedigree. Mercedes, this course isn't best suited for their car, but he's a guy that's such a good competitor. Mm -hmm. I've seen him step up in the past in these settings. I was gonna say, with all of that, Lewis Hamilton was the only name that sort of stood out to me. So again, for somebody who's not used to this market, used to this sport, it sounds like the two things you really have to focus on is the name and the car. Mm -hmm. um, and we always talk about the numbers sort of telling a story. So it sounds like you take a favorite and sort of like we just did with Tour de France uh, and sort of like what we do with baseball, right? You find a really heavy favorite. You either take the pitcher to record a win or you take the first five yes. or you take the run line. You just take a favorite because it sounds like the guys who win, win often. Yes. And you just find a different way to bet them to cut down that juice. No one's won more than Max Verstappen this season. He is right now at the peak of his powers, maybe getting even better, and mm -hmm. he's the most dominant racer we've seen. Why I like Lewis Hamilton, he's 15 points behind Fernando Alonso in the racing standings. And the same thing, Mercedes is also 13 points ahead of Aston Martin at construction in the cup. So the racers win a title, the team they play for win a title. It's mm -hmm. all based on points, which you've seen in other sports.